Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are. Remember, you have greatness inside of you. Welcome back to another pregame show of the Hockey Nation Live Show for the Montreal Canadiens. Game number 16. Tonight, they are in Detroit. They're going to play the next game on the road. Detroit tonight, Boston tomorrow, and Tuesday, and New York again, the Rangers. So uh, we're going to give you all the information you need to know about the game tonight. Again, the Red Wings. So don't go nowhere. Before we start about the pregame show, we invite you, don't forget to subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, please click on the like. If finally, tell us your prediction of the game between the Red Wings and the Montreal Canadiens. Tonight, this is the sixth 100 game between both teams and that Montreal right now they have a record of 292 game at W and the last 207 game they have 96 tie and of course the last four OTL for Detroit they are 211 win with 288 loss with 96 tie and four OTL and they have a uh, percentage of 436 um, again a Montreal Canadian with 522 points for the Montreal they have a 571 percentage and of course 684 points Montreal score 1837 time and they gave five uh, 1523 go again so they give you a little bit the sick in the last three years uh, Montreal play only six games, and uh, Montreal is 2-4-0. Detroit, of course, 4-2-0. And uh, the last 10 game, uh, advantage Detroit with 6-4-0. The next one I want to mention to you is the Montreal Canadian. The last 10 game of 4-5-1. The goal 4-28, goal again 30. The power play, 6-30 and 30 attempts, and they give 7 goals on PK, and the 33 attempts. What you can see this, the number are a little bit better for the Montreal Canadian in the last five, six games, to be honest with you. Uh, what you need to know, all the numbers between both teams. First of all, Montreal are 4-10-1. They won the last game. The last 10 game, they are 4-5-1. At home, 3-5-1. On the road, 1-5-0. Detroit, they are 7-6-2. They lost the last game. Uh, again, Washington 2-0. They are 5-4-1 the last 10 game at home 4-2-2. They did well on the road. They are 3-4-0. Here, what's happening for uh, different categories. On power play, both teams struggle. 25th, Detroit 26th for the Montreal. Penalty kill, almost the same situation. 26th, Detroit, Montreal 29. Goals for both teams. For Montreal, they don't score a lot. 2.13. Detroit are 16 in the NHL. And again, go again, both teams struggle more because they are 26, 27 in the NHL. The goal uh, shot four. Uh, Montreal shot 30 times uh, per game, 29 times for Detroit. Shot again. Uh, Montreal looking looking better at 29.7. And Detroit gave more shot, 34.1. The leader on the point is that uh, Tyler Bertuzzi for Detroit with 15 points, have 9 goals, 6 assists. Uh, Thomas Grease has a 4 W, and finally Ronek has a 23 minutes, 17 seconds, TOI. For Montreal, all about Nick Zuzki, 14 points and 15 games right now. Hoffman, Zuzki, and Ben Chariot have 4 goals uh, lead, and uh, Jake Allen also 4 W. And the TOI is Jeff Petrie at 24-03. Um, the shopping up, what you need to know. For this game, you already know about this. Allen is not confirmed, guy, but Nedeljkovic is confirmed. The last five games, Montreal is 2-2-1. You can see number is better. The differential is only a minus 5, 11 goal, and they gave a 15 goal. Uh, the power play, 3-15, and 15, and they gave a 4 goal on PK and 17 attempts. Allen's stats are 4-8-1, and one, save percentage at 2.86, and... Uh, and of, of course, a 9-0-2. And it's all about Zuzki, the last five game guy. Nine point four goal, five assists, and plus three for Chariot. So you can see Nick Zuzki is doing very well for the Montreal Canadiens. 
Uh, I'll be honest with you, the power play and the PK for Montreal is looking better. Uh, they need to walk 60 minutes like they did the last game against Gary, Calgary. Work as a team. Finally, they have to watch for Detroit. It's Bertuzzi, Larkin, Zadina. Of course, you have Raymond with this and Fabi. Corner. Here we go. Game number 16 at for the Montreal Canadiens. Uh, roster change. Uh, Poland is in like we did the last game. He's going to be part of the game. Drouin did not do the travel. Uh, he's not on the ice. I'm not sure he's on the trip, to be honest with you, but he does not play tonight. For confirm, no chance from the last game when the Montreal beat the Calgary Flame was the best game for Montreal on my eyes since the beginning of the season. What I said, better numbers, different categories. Every category is Montreal right now. They are doing better for the last five uh, game. Power play, PK, goals four, goal again. All those categories, shot four, shot again. Everything Montreal is a little bit better. You can see what happening the last five game. Of course, they have two, two, and one. The last game they play a sixty minute. That's maybe the first time we see a sixty minute uh, for each player and as a team uh, from the Montreal Canadiens. The Zuzuki impact. We talk about this nine point in the last five game, fourteen point and since the beginning of the season with fifteen. Uh, go uh, 15 game and what happening with his impact you see now Hoffman joined the party with Hoffman um, and Gallagher four, four players right now they have two points in the last game and we need them we need them to add more uh, power on the offensive side so that's something uh, is very important Montreal have that contribution for those players coming up Poland uh, Roman Hoffman he was healthy scratch guy play solid Every game he plays so far. So glad to see Romanov getting better. Poland, it was um, added on the lineup last game. And you can see an impact for Rand Poland. A little bit a better, a little bit more improvement than we saw him um, during the training camp, to be honest with you. So uh, we're going to see. And also he also an impact with Pezzera and the Belzil. So the four line was a little bit better. So we see what he's going to do on the road uh, again Detroit tonight. Break out middle transition. They have to continue to break out from the middle guy. The puck have to be on breakout from the middle and also the transition. Transition have to be better with speed between both blue line and better and trends for sure. They have to get better. And also what I like right now, the power play. They make some change now. P3 play on the second unit. They bring white men. But also they move now Zuski on the left with uh, Hoffman. That's an, a new in, unit. You can see the puck movement movement is better. And they score more at some point. So there's very great decision from Dominic Trump uh, about the power play. Different Red Wings. What are you talking about? Of course, Tyler Pertuzzi cannot travel to Canada. So for the first time, we're going to see Pertuzzi again the Montreal Canadiens. Montreal beat the twice 6-1, 3-0. But this is going to be another strong game. Pertuzzi is really the the catalyzer of that team, uh, he provoked a lot um, offensive for the for the team. He, he is the first uh, scorer with nine goals, a fifteen point for them. So he played with right now with Larkin. So that and that bring that line a little bit better with uh, Raymond, of course. And then the rookie Raymond is Sailor. Every time we watch them, they they doing very well. And everybody love Raymond. I'll be honest with you. And I really like him. Whatever is not on the front of Montreal. Great solid. What about Zeller? Already at that age, uh, physically, and uh, is mature, and um, we can see a great future all star as a defenseman for the Detroit Red Wings. So that was my Frenchy corner. Let's move on for now for the lineup for tonight. Honestly, no no chance for the Montreal Canadiens. Zuski is between Hoffman, Tofoli, Gallagher with Anderson, Devarak, Evans, Armia. And Le Conan finally four line is Pesada, Poland, and Belzil. Chariot, Petri play together. And I believe Petri play a little bit better now with Chariot, Kulak, Savar, Romanov, and Whiteman. Uh, no chance for the power play and a penalty kill. And for Detroit guys, now because Petruzzi play, he play with Larkin and Raymond, Zadina with Sutter and Fabri, and Nemes Tinkov with Rasmussen and Ern. And then Roly with uh, Roni with Stefan Gagne. 
uh, defenseman, not a problem. You can watch him the next two um, for the lineup for the Red Wings on power play on PK. And finally, this is a, I bring to you now at the end of the video, the prospect of the Montreal Canadiens, what they did the last couple of games. This is what happened yesterday. You can see Carfield, zero point, Fred Brother, Harvey Pinar, Elonen, Kapanen, Costeco, Farrell, Aris, Mizak, Owat, Kohli. Mizak have two goals yesterday. Great performance. And Elonen have three assists and the victory for the Laval Rocket, 5-4 and OT. And what happening, like uh, Thursday night, you can see those results also about their... Uh, prospect Canadian. So that's what we're going to bring to you now uh, all the time with the make a video for the pregame. And finally, don't forget, we have another game tomorrow night. The Montreal Canadiens out in Boston and the game starts at 7 o'clock Eastern Time. And tonight we do the live stream of course at 7 o'clock. Join us with the Hockey Nation live show. So guys, this is reason why you have this picture in the background because this weekend, guy is a little celebration on the Hall of Famer uh, for the class 2020. So, uh, congratulations to Doug Wilson, Kim St. Pierre, Kevin Lowe, Jerome Igela, Marianne Osa, and then Ken Orlin. Um, so, uh, for them, they are the new Hall of Famer in NHL. So, thanks again for watching another great video at, of the Hockey Nation Live Show. Before we leave, we we'll remind you subscribe, likes, and uh, of course, tell us your prediction of the game. And remember, we have greatness inside of you. Have an amazing, great day. Blessing day, everybody. Bonne journée, mes amis. On se revoit plus tard pour un autre vidéo avec l'entraîneur Code Frenchy. Et je vous rappelle, n'oubliez pas de vous abonner, de cliquer sur le, sur le like, et finalement, c'est sûr, dis-nous vos prédictions between, entre le Montréal et le Détroit. Bonne journée, mes amis. <musique>